Hello everyone, it's Yvoma, your guide to Nigeria, and today I am speaking with Eddie. Hi, hi guys. Eddie is an African American who sent me an email um, a couple of weeks back about his solo travel to Nigeria. So we're going to be talking about that. Definitely. So all of this is coming up. Please make sure to like, comment below. Those are amazing ways to support my channel. Thank you. Eddie. Yes. What has what made you visit Nigeria? Definitely, there's a couple of different reasons I would say. So uh, first, I did a, a DNA test, and uh, I found that the majority of my DNA comes from Nigeria. Another reason was because. Nigeria is super rich in history and mm -hmm. culture and I'm a huge fan of like learning about different cultures and stuff like that so just finding out I was Nigerian was like icing on the cake and it made me want to come even more third reason I would say is because I wanted to challenge myself this is the first time I'm traveling by myself really been outside the United States yeah exactly outside of the United States I've been to places uh, with family and friends but never by myself so okay, this okay. is like my first time being by myself in a completely new place. So, how long have you been here? Three weeks so far. Okay. Yes, three weeks have so you been far. enjoying Nigeria? I have a lot. I wanted to keep an open mind to what I was gonna see. Um, it people here are like very friendly, very welcoming. So I felt like um, when I came here, I was kind of comfortable. Uh, the first place you felt comfortable. I felt comfortable. Good, I felt good, comfortable. good. I went to Abuja first. Okay. And I feel like that was like an easy transition. That was a good place, like the first place to come. Yeah. Uh, because it's very organized there. Um, calm. Calm, yeah. Um, I felt like there was not too many people compared to Lagos. I feel like if I landed in Lagos first, it would have been kind of overwhelming. So I think Abuja was a good place. Um, How long were you in Abuja for? For a week. Okay. For a week. And I didn't know anybody before I came to Nigeria. Yeah, I know. You told uh, me. Yeah. So I was kind of feeling the pressure of trying to figure out if I could meet somebody before I got here or somebody that knows, like, somebody in Nigeria. That were you did. able to? Uh, no. So I just came anyways, and one of the, the first hotels I stayed at, I just came down to reception. I was like... Um, do you have anybody that you trust that can take me around and perfect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And so she's like, yeah, let me call up my friend. Um, he's a really good guy and he can take you that same day. He was able to come and uh, pick me up and he's been, he was actually a really good person. Like we got along very well. Um, I've been in contact with him the whole trip. So, uh, he's actually what I would say one of my good friends here that I've met. Oh, very nice. And he was able to give me contacts in Calabar, which I went to after Abuja, and then also here in Lagos. How Okay, so you went to Abuja for one week, mm -hmm. and then how long were you in Calabar for? I was in Calabar for a week. And yeah. then now you're in Lagos? Yeah, now I'm in Lagos, yeah. For a so, week? For a week, yeah. And then you're going back to... I know you, you told me that you extended your visa. Yeah, um, I extended my visa, so I'm going to be here for a total of 56 days. The visa extension process so yeah i didn't know anything about it at first and oh yeah i know you asked me i said i don't know yeah yeah i was kind of nervous going by myself because like when i first got there they asked me like well what do you need help with and the first thing they looked at was my passport and then they called somebody on the radio and then they came and then they like escorted me to like a different building and the f before they even asked any questions they're like okay it's gonna be fifteen thousand naira <laughs> It's gonna be fifty thousand dollars. I was like, "There's no way." I know there's not a fee. There's not a fee, and I was getting kind of, you know, you know, annoyed. Yeah, annoyed and, and frustrated. I, frustrated, and I told them there's not a fee. They didn't really want to help me after they knew I wasn't gonna pay. They didn't really want to help me. This is in Lagos. Yeah, here in Lagos. So. First, I had to go to the operations building. I had to like write a, a handwritten letter of how long I'm gonna stay for and why I wanted to stay and like my address and everything like that. And then I had to take the letter to the controller and then the controller um, stamped it and approved it and then back to operations and then they went, uh, they got my passport and then wrote the extension on the, on the passport. How long did that take you? I told you it was going to take you all day. Yeah, it took me probably about four hours I was there. Okay, four hours. that makes sense. And I didn't really know where the buildings that I was supposed to go to because nobody would really tell me a straight-up answer. Just, you know, calm down and try to figure it out myself. 
I love that you were able to navigate Nigeria by yourself. Yeah, and this yeah. is the first time you've come. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, how did you react to the video <laughs> that I did <laughs> answering your question, Eddie, and the comments that people were oh, leaving? Oh, man. Um... So, wait, Eddie <laughs> sent me um, a very thick email yes, yes. and i just i think i only answered like part of your email that's how thick it was yeah yeah and i answered it in a video and um i'm gonna like link the video before uh, above but it's the video where i said solo travel in nigeria and he was he wanted to um you wanted to travel the, the entire country by like road yeah i was gonna go to 11 different all states. these dangerous yeah yeah <laughs> that you were trying to do and i'm like no yeah, bro yeah so like how did you react to that video because so, i was trying i was i felt bad I was like, <laughs> no, no worries at all. Like you kept it straight up with me, which I I appreciate. You know, at first I was like, wow, this is kind of negative. I felt like <laughs> I know that's what I'm saying. I felt yeah, bad. Yeah, but then I was like, you know what? Um, I wasn't really considering safety. That's the most my, important thing. My trip. That's I was, it. Yeah, I wasn't considering that at all. So you kind of put that in my mind that, you know, you should be safe. Like, keeping yourself safe is keeping your family safe. Yeah. And now that I'm here, I know what you mean by, <laughs> you know, what could have happened exactly. if I were just going to all of these different states. And I'm really glad that I spent um, a week in each place mm -hmm. um, because I was able to meet some really good people. And Lagos, even a week, I feel like that's not long enough. It's not. Yeah. But as you can tell from my email, I was like super excited and I was just trying to, I sent you the email because first at the time I was, you know, planning on just moving here mm -hmm. without even coming first. Mm -hmm. And I just, I was getting tired of like living in the U.S. and stuff like that. So I was like, I'm just going to try to move to Nigeria and see what my options are. So that's why I kind of wanted to email you and bounce some ideas off of you and tell you about my about my trip and things like that. Yeah, I'm really I'm really glad that you responded because I I really I didn't expect you to respond because I figured you would get a lot of emails like this. But um as you said like my my <laughs> My plans were kind of, you know, crazy, so you had to respond, so... I really did. I, I felt like it wouldn't be, like, I wouldn't be a good person yeah, if I didn't respond to definitely, you. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So I feel like you kind of saved my trip. And you still got to see a lot of Nigeria by just going yes. to Abuja, Lagos, Calabar. And yeah. now you want to stay longer. Exactly. And you're going back to Abuja. Yeah, yeah. So, because you didn't see enough. Like, that's no. the thing. People don't understand. Like, this is yeah. not... There's so much here. Right. You can't just... Even one week is not enough, but it's still, yes. it's a taste at least. Exactly. Yeah. Especially in Lagos. Like, yeah. Lagos, I feel like I need to come back to because there's just so much to see here. And you, like with the traffic, you can't really see too much in, in, you know, a day. No, you can't. So like you're in traffic for a lot of the day. <laughs> the traffic eats up so much time. It does. But I am glad that I chose like three really different places. Yeah. Like very different. Abuja was very it was like a good contrast between like um modern and old fashioned, I feel like. And I thought it was really cool how like the whole city is like centralized. Like all of the important buildings are in the middle of town and then you have the outskirts with all the different uh neighborhoods and things like that calabar was like very relaxed kind of like very chill, chill vibes vibe. yes yeah. exactly i like the weather there it was really humid and it just felt really good mm -hmm. and lagos is just you know people say it's like a different country in nigeria it's like a country of its own in nigeria it's completely different than any place that i went to how is yeah. it different first of all uh i feel like it's really lively like you just see um all kinds of things here everything that you could think of is in lagos mm -hmm. like um nice houses like beaches you have the people the nightlife here good food um i feel like you can never go bored in lagos okay yeah okay. and i like how like early people start their day and like they're just up you know getting things done taking care of business and uh, all throughout the day Mm -hmm. And I also like that when you're sitting in traffic, like, you could find anything that you want, like, people selling everything in traffic. <laughs> I think that's really cool because mm -hmm. it, it's convenient. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're sitting in traffic, you might as well be able to get the things you need without also having to go to the store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like the markets here, too. They have some really nice markets. And, yeah, I've just been really enjoying myself here. So, like, what are the spots you've been seeing? 
Um, like what are some spots that you liked in each city, if you can remember? Yeah, in Abuja, I went to Uze Market. Um, I went to the zoo, saw Aso Rock. I can't remember all the different la- uh, neighborhoods, but it's fine. Uh, Jabi Lake. Mm-hmm was nice that's why i kind of want to when i'm back in abuja i want to try like different places like there's a place called crushed rock Mm -hmm. that i want to see it looks really nice um and calabar i went to calabar river i went to twins island to learn about the twins that were saved there um uh the slave museum Mm -hmm. i learned about the slave trade history I went to the the King's Palace there, just like different places and markets and things like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like you can, Calabar is kind of compact, so you can see a lot while you're there. You can see a yeah. lot. Um, I really like the, like just being on the water. It's mm-hmm. really nice. Mm-hmm. I took a boat ride. A, I guess he was a, a family member of the king mm-hmm. um so he was able to tour me around and he had a lot of information so just like information about the city and the people that uh migrated there and unfortunately i didn't get to see the festival which is um next month yeah yeah i don't know if they're still having it with covid and everything but they're gonna still they're have still it. gonna have it okay okay <laughs> they're still gonna have yeah, it i'm sure i'm sure um, but, but that would be an experience mm-hmm. on its own. Like, I would love to see that. Mm-hmm. Um, in Lagos, I actually went to uh, Badgiri, mm-hmm. um, which took all day. Because um, it's, 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 it's far. It's far. It's far. And then the roads were bad. They yeah. were really bad. Because I think you drove past me. Like, you had to drive past me to get to to where, you, yeah, the roads yeah. get worse and worse, right? Yeah. There's yeah. a point. So you were, like, you got to see Nigeria, right. Lagos for yes, real. Because definitely. a lot of people don't see Lagos. And yeah. so sometimes they think, in my videos, I'm being hateful by showing the roads in my no. neighborhood. I'm like, I don't think you guys understand. Yeah. After Aja, the roads just collapse. <laughs> like, and you need to see it. And you saw how you were just Yeah, my neck was hurting to... after a while. <laughs> exactly. My neck. Yeah, but it was, I believe it. Yeah, definitely. But it was nice because it the the museum w- was more in depth about the slave trade history mm-hmm. than the one in Calabar. Mm-hmm. So I learned a lot there. There's like four different stops, um, four different museums that you go to. Um, you actually get to do the walk that the the slaves at the time did all oh, the wow. way to. Uh, the ocean, mm-hmm. which was a very long walk, like especially with all the chains and things that they had to wear around their necks and their mouth and feet. Mm-hmm. I was getting tired of myself just walking that long distance. Mm-hmm. And you know, before they got shipped to their various locations, so we got to learn about that, and it was really, I don't know, it just took me back. It just felt like, like wow, I can't believe they actually d- went through this. Where else did we go to in Lagos? Uh, Lufasi Nature Park mm-hmm. was really nice. Mm-hmm. I like how, you know, it's it's very relaxing. Like, you have the busy city, but you can go there to relax. And a thing called forest bathing, I've never heard of that. Mm-hmm. Where you just, like, uh, take in the nature, breathe in the fresh air, and it kind of, like, calms you and uh, helps your skin and it's supposed to promote a longer life. LCC was really nice. The canopy walk uh, mm-hmm. was really cool. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people there. A lot yeah. of people. I just did but, the canopy walk yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did okay. a local tour in Nigeria. They took us to the canopy walk and some sites around Lagos. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's really nice there. It's yeah. Very nice. It was scary, though. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, like, gripping the rope. I almost got rope burned. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I did it yesterday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Did you experience any nightlife? Uh, A little bit. Like, I went to this bar i can't remember where it was but it was cool it was like really chill um they didn't have music or anything but there's just a lot of people just like chilling and drinking having fun. and having fun yeah it was on a weekday too so there was a lot of people there for a weekday um <laughs> you but know my tonight friends, today is sunday you know you could go out tonight it'll be exactly back. that's the difference in the u.s like people don't really do anything on sunday they're just getting ready for monday mm-hmm but here, like, people like to party on Sunday. Yeah. Which is really cool. I think that's really cool. So, Eddie, do you feel comfortable in Nigeria? 
I do feel comfortable. I felt very comfortable and safe in Abuja. Like, I feel like I could go anywhere by myself and... Abuja is very safe. I felt yeah, very safe when I visited Abuja. Exactly, exactly. Calabar was a different vibe, I would say, like... <laughs> you said, uh, I love that. Different vibe. Yeah, different vibe completely. Like, um... I wouldn't go too many places, but like, walking by myself. Just because... I don't know how to put it, but it's very... Did you get... Did, were people watching you in a certain way? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, because... it's a different watch because n- let me tell you, Nigeria Nigerians are watchers. We <laughs> I see that. watching I see that. people. Yeah. But there's a certain type of way that some people look at you. You're like, oh no 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 no, I need to get up out of here. Exactly. And that's how you felt. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe because it's a little like people there don't have as much. I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and then also maybe because I. I looked a little different than yeah. people there, so maybe they were just curious or whatever, but mm-hmm. I definitely felt like, you know, people were watching. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, I wasn't like, scared or anything. No, you're like just that. aware. Just aware, yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, in Lagos, I felt, for the most part, I felt safe. Nobody um, watches you, nobody cares. Exactly, like, yeah. I would go places by myself, and people don't really look at me. <laughs> Which I was surprised. I was like... No, you look at everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So people wouldn't really look at or pay attention to me. Um, they hear my accent. Nobody really asks where I come from or anything like that. A few people, but for the most part, no. Mm-hmm. Um, and other places, like Calabar, I felt like I couldn't do too much talking uh, without the people that I knew doing the talking for me because I, cause of my accent. Overall, I felt very, very safe. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, See? Exactly. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you recommend people visit Nigeria then? Definitely. I definitely recommend people to visit. Um, like, before I came, I heard a lot of negative things. Um, and a lot of people that haven't even been here are, like, telling me that, you know, it's not safe. There's a whole bunch of disease here. Disease? Like, yes. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to say something else. No, you said disease, disease bro. Disease, yeah. Like people, what? They don't know. They're just saying, like, <laughs> just be careful. Like, make sure you get all your shots and all things like that. Yeah. Like, really negative things for okay. people who have I heard a lot here. of negative things, but I never yeah. heard about the disease yeah. part. <laughs> We're taking it too far. Yeah. Uh, what else? And how, like, there's a lot of crime here and just be, well, even my my friends that I met here are telling me, you know, be safe. Yeah, be um, careful. Be careful where you go. Just things like that. Um, of course, like, this is after, you know, the SARS protest. So, uh, like, people were telling me, like, if I were here before that, we would have been stopped so many times and people just asking us, like, where are you going? Who are yeah, you? Yeah, because of your hair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I like, would... Yeah, they would have been like, your hair is plated. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's going on, bro? Exactly. Like, I would, I would, I'm already getting, like, a lot of looks, like, just because uh, of my hair. Yeah. Like, the first thing people look at is my hair. Like, I see their eyes go straight <laughs> up to my... <laughs> I so, know. It's, like, more conservative here. It's yeah, surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Especially you... in Abuja. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I looked at you and said, "Yeah." Yeah. So, <laughs> no. Even when I had my hair in an afro, like I know they were just they were literally look at your face and just look at your hair, exactly. and they talk to your hair, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I I believe you. Yeah. What are some things that surprised you when you came? Like you weren't thinking about. I guess it was a nice surprise, um, just how welcoming people are. Like, people, when I told them that I'm from the U.S., and they were like, um, they just told me, welcome home, welcome home. Like, you belong here. Aww. So I felt, it felt really good, you know. Um, I didn't, f- I never felt like an outsider while I was here. Also, like, how, I was, I was surprised of the roads. Like, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um... Things are, it's very green here, like very green, especially in Calabar. Calabar super, is super green. Yeah, it's really nice. And Abuja is green. And Abuja is green as yeah. well. Lagos yeah, Lagos is not that green. Not so much. Yeah, not so they, much. they really don't like trees in the city. Yeah. Any tree, they just want to, they want to yeah. cut it down. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. 
I think a lot of people expect there to be a lot of like zebras and giraffes and things running really? around. Yeah. yeah. In in Lagos? No, in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Um, they're like telling me, make sure you take pictures of the zebras and the lions. Are we joking? And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you go on a safari, like a make, safari. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. No, I'm repeating everything you're saying back. I don't understand. No, people that like don't really know anything about Nigeria, like they're like, oh, you're going to Africa, so zebra must safari. Be, yeah, must be oh. right. But I haven't really seen any of that no, at all. You're not gonna see it, and I'm not. Yeah, people that I told that same thing to, they're like, they're, you're not gonna see. You're just gonna see like chickens and goats. <laughs> goats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cows, yeah, things that's like it. that. Literally, that is the basic animal you're gonna yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Very. I feel like it was a good learning lesson too, um, for me to be here and just experience things myself. Yeah. Um, that's but, so important. Experience it yourself. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I was saying, each place is different. Like you have like different ethnic groups in each you know area, and um, different culture. A lot of differences between uh, each place that I went to, so it was a good learning experience for sure. Okay, so is there? Do you have any advice for like any Americans in your position who are looking at Nigeria but scared to come? I would say, you know, don't listen to just the negative things. There's a lot of positivity here. Um, just see for yourself is what I would tell them. I do see the importance of maybe knowing a few people yeah it uh, makes it it makes a difference it makes doesn't a big it? difference um either from wherever you're from or when you get here try to meet some good trustworthy people mm -hmm. um that can go around with you because like i don't have a nigerian accent i really can't speak pigeon um having people like there with me to do all the talking for me really helped because i feel like i could have got you know ripped off a could've? lot of times <laughs> I would have. Yes. No, I definitely would have. You would have yeah. been chopped up every single day. <laughs> exactly. It's just good having people that can do all the talking for you. And some of the places that I went to with the people that I've met, I would have never gone to by myself. So it was nice having people that, you know, know and can, like, give you information and the do's and don'ts and stuff like that. And if you have any questions about, like, the system here, like, if you're trying to get a SIM card or um, a local flight somewhere, it's really good to be able to ask somebody because you can't always find, like, things online. You can't find anything online. <laughs> it's like it's a joke. No, I couldn't find a lot of stuff online, yeah. It's so much. It's like, so you, you really do need to know somebody. But So a lot of the people that you met, mm. actually everybody that you met, you've yeah. met here. Exactly. So, like, how was that experience? How was it meeting people? How is that eat hard? Is it I found it easy? to be easy. Yeah. I, I found it to be right? easy, yeah. Uh, people are very friendly. I've met a lot of trustworthy people. Only one person, I would say, kind of played me. That's life. But yeah, exactly. It was. I would say it was a blessing that I was able to meet such good people in Abuja that were able to connect me to people um, in Calabar and Lagos. Yeah. Because they ended up being good people too. Yeah. So anytime I come to Nigeria, I would definitely you know contact them first. And now I know people here. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what I said in the email. Once yeah. you come, you get to know people. <laughs> then you can start going to people's villages exactly. and towns. Exactly. And you now understand why I gave you the, the, that advice. I see the importance now. I see the importance right. now. For so sure. How did you feel reading those comments? The comments, I was like, people were, people were going off on me. <laughs> They're like, he might not make it back alive. <laughs> Yeah. But you can tell a Nigerian what they're writing. Yeah, those people are Nigerians. Definitely. Talk about you yeah. can't, you won't make it back alive. <laughs> I hope he comes back alive and stuff like that. I just, I didn't take them personally. Good. There are actually people who gave some pretty good advice too. So I just read everything and took the advice that I wanted to. And some people were like sincere because they wanted to do the same thing. They had the same. Uh, idea in mind they want to come here by themselves and experience it so it's possible it's not you did it i did it yeah, yeah. it's my first time traveling by myself that's the case you know anybody could do it 
and you extended your visa so you enjoy nigeria that much yes yes so are you are you planning on like coming back or even now you can think about moving here right exactly exactly okay. i want to get a house here hey yeah i'm i'm tired of paying so much in rent like in the u.s like it's ridiculous. You're just over it. Yeah, definitely. So if I could have a house here or somewhere I could come to whenever I'm in Nigeria, it would be nice. Aww. It would be nice. What yeah. city? Abuja? I don't know where yet. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Um, Abuja is cool. I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to think about, you know, yeah, where course. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, I came here and saw everything for myself. Yeah. I'm glad that you enjoy Nigeria so much that you wanna. You, you're considering owning property here. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. It's definitely. I feel like it's more achievable to get some a place here, and uh, it would be a good like investment in the long run. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. Eddie, is there anything you wanna add? Um. I just want to say, like, if you're planning on coming to Nigeria, um, just do it. It's uh, It'll be very fun. It's very lively here. Uh, you'll learn a lot. Um, just don't listen to the negativity. Just come and see for yourself. That's okay. what I would say. Yeah, I like your message, yeah. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so yeah. much for meeting me. No, it was a pleasure. I'm glad that we were able to finally meet. And thank you for taking time out to come see me. I really appreciate it. And I thank you for responding to my email because you definitely <laughs> saved my trip. You made my trip a, a lot better than Aww, it could have been, than it could have ended that. up. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah, of course. If you ever want to come home, you know, Nigeria is available to you. Mm. So, bye now. All right, see you. Bye, guys. Uh -huh.